I know I said I wasn't making any more videos relating to the PC VR from your phone setup, but I found something cool that I had to make a video on, and that is the ability to play your PC games in VR away from your desk, and it's not Steam VR Theater. It is far better and doesn't need any VR controllers. Now, when I say PC games, I don't mean playing PC VR games like Beat Saber. I mean literal PC games like Cyberpunk, Marvel Rivals, Stalker 2, any game. So let me show you how. Now to start off, let's talk about what's required. All you will need is a VR headset. This also includes the phone VR headset, but if you're using a Oculus or some other VR headset that doesn't natively connect to Steam VR, then you will need your VR controllers for that part. You then want to make sure your PC is capable. I currently have a RX 6600 in my PC and it works all right. The reason your PC matters is because it is going to have to handle rendering your VR space and rendering the game. So unless you're willing to drop the settings on your PC, then you'll probably need a beefy PC unless you want to start a fire in your room. Now after that, that's it just get a wireless controller and it's time to play now not so fast i said it's time to play but there is just one thing you will need to download and that is big screen beta which is indeed free using this application you will be able to mirror your entire monitor to a virtual world in vr i spent some time with this and i'm not this attached to vr so it's not really my thing but some people can find a great use for this okay now once you have big screen beta installed onto your pc all you'll need to do is just open steam vr as you can see i have steam vr open right now and literally all you do is just open it so i am opening big screen beta right now and then yeah you'll see that it is currently open and boom you can see that it is loading it'll give you a little interface where you can change certain things but at least for the simple way of doing this you don't actually need all of this stuff it is going to be creating the room you can set up a whole bunch of stuff you can go multiplayer with a whole bunch of people but in this case i'm just gonna be showing you guys how to do this alone so as you can see here inside of the vr this is actually what you would be seeing in the headset and this can be done on pretty much anything that works with steam vr as long as you can connect the steam vr with your headset you can open big screen beta and you will see exactly this so you can see my cursor moving there is little to no latency at least while your pc is not lagging but as you can see everything is here i can literally go and open a game right now which i will not be doing that but you can open a game put it on this window and everything will be working and actually in a few seconds you will see some gameplay of me actually doing this and i will talk a little bit about the experience and maybe you guys might want to try this for yourself so to be honest yeah just try yourself so in conclusion this is truly a cool creation i can't say i will use this myself i'm better off playing the games without my headsets but i can see how some people may want to use this to play games with others even though there are plenty of better ways to do that but overall this isn't bad my pc isn't nasa level so recording from obs at 60 fps playing vr and playing intensive games was never going to do well but when i tried this without recording marvel rivals was actually pretty decent while i would also expect gold simulators to also play the same but um yeah stalker 2 on the other hand barely runs without this setup so i kind of expected this to play the way it did so yeah that's pretty much it